welcome back to my channel today I have my hair regimen video for you guys and I know y'all have been asking for this for years now I finally had some time to actually type up my hair regimen and all the products that I use so this is gonna be like a two-in-one video it's gonna be my regimen plus the products that I'm currently using right now now take in mind some of these products may change from time to time but these are basically some of my staple products all right guys so the first thing I do is I shampoo my hair now I shampoo my hair every week and a half so that's like three times a month the products that I'm currently using for my shampoo Proclaim and this is their Shea Butter Moisturizing Shampoo you guys which I love it's a great thick shampoo and you can get this one at Sally's and it's not expensive I went ahead and got the one liter bottle because I love this stuff um, now take in mind it is a thicker shampoo so if you don't like thicker shampoos then you probably don't want to try this one and you don't need a lot of this so it will last you like a long time now for co-washing my hair if i feel like my hair is really dirty i'll do that in between my wash so i wash my hair every week and a half so within that week and a half if i feel like my hair is kind of dirty i'll use a co-wash i have been using the dark and lovely and this is their all natural anti-shrinkage cleansing conditioner it gives me a light foam when I use it. So I've never had that with a cleansing conditioner. So I actually like the fact that it does foam up a little bit. Another co-wash conditioner that I'm using is going to be the Taila Wajid. And this is their two-in-one conditioning co-wash. Now you can use this as a co-wash and a leave-in conditioner, you guys. Which I love this stuff. The only problem about this is that... I tend to use a lot of this product and it's not that big so it's only eight ounces that is the only thing I wish this would come in a larger size but yeah I love this stuff it's great for co-washing your hair I've not used this as a leave-in conditioner so I don't know what it's like as a leave-in conditioner conditioners I deep condition my hair every time I wash so every week and a half after I'm done washing my hair I will always deep condition my hair and what I've been using is going to be the Proclaim Shea Butter Moisturizing Conditioner I know that it doesn't say it's a deep conditioner and I don't add anything to it I use it as is because it works like a deep conditioner for my hair so I love this stuff and when I use it I always deep condition overnight I'll do that with my hard candy bonnet you guys know what this is you've probably seen it in almost all of my videos so I use these two hand in hand overnight the next morning I'll rinse it out and I'll put my hair like in a bun or something like that if I have somewhere to go And every time I deep condition my hair, I follow up with a leave-in conditioner and that's every single time that I condition my hair. I always use a leave-in conditioner and that works great for me and my hair because my hair does tend to get dry because my hair is curly, yada, 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 you guys know. So the products that I use are going to be the Cantu Natural Hair and this is their leave-in conditioning cream. Now, I like using the one for natural hair because products that Cantu has for natural hair, they don't contain parabens, silicone, sulfates, or mineral oil. If you do like using Cantu leave-in conditioners, I would always suggest that you get the natural hair one because they don't have any of the bad stuff in there. And I also use my rose water leave-in and also my aloe vera leave-in and I'm going to leave links for those in the description bar so be sure to check that out and in those videos I show you guys exactly how I make them so actually when I don't have either one of those on hand I will use this I'll oil my scalp after, right after I deep condition and I put in my leave-in I always oil my scalp and during the week if I feel like my scalp is dry I'll usually oil my scalp then it just depends 
like you can determine if your scalp needs oiling in between your washing of your hair so usually I'll probably oil it one more time after that and then I'm like good for the whole week especially in the summertime because it has been hot as hell okay I'll either use my oil mixture or I'll use my golden hair serum for my scalp I will have links for these two in the description box so be sure you check these out if you're interested I get a ton of questions about what type of bottle is this this is a roots only bottle you guys and you can find these at Sally stores so be sure to check that out if you're looking for these and I think they sell these on Amazon as well you guys so it is called the roots only bottle I moisturize my hair when needed so if I feel like my hair is like dry then I'll use a moisturizer so usually I'll moisturize my hair like twice a week and miss Jessie's baby buttermilk which I absolutely love this it's a bit expensive but it is so worth it you guys I don't know about you guys but sometimes I like to change up my moisturizers so if I'm not using my baby buttermilk I will use my olive oil hair moisturizer which I make and a lot of these products I do have alternatives so if you like making your own products and knowing exactly what you're using a link for all of these will be in the description bar they're super easy to make all you have to do is get the ingredients I just haven't tried this oh my gosh I love this so much you guys love it or I'll use my hair cream and this is it you guys right here so I seal my hair after I apply my moisturizer so after I use my moisturizer I follow up with a sealer which you can use a oil to seal your hair but you guys know me I have my own hair sealer which is going to be my hair beeswax you guys so this is great for sealing your hair and after each leave-in conditioner I also seal my hair because you do want to keep that moisture in your hair that way your hair won't get too dry and break off you don't want that all right you guys I get a ton of questions about my hair mask and which ones do I use and which ones do I like using well, I'm telling you right now, I like using all of my hair masks. That's why I make them and share them with you guys because I like them all. And each one is different. So if your hair needs this, then use this one. If your hair needs something else, then use that one. So they're all different, you guys. So I'll do a hair mask of my choice two to three times a month. I just see what my hair is needing and then I'll pick out the corresponding hair masks that I need. I clarify my hair once a month and that's just to get rid of all the dirt, make sure that my scalp is clean and can breathe. So when I clarify my hair, usually use hair clay mask which really cleanses your hair so great or the apple cider vinegar and baking soda mixture on my hair it's one of the two I'll either use the clay or I'll use the apple cider vinegar I usually alternate like one month I'll use my clay mask the next month I will use my apple cider vinegar and baking soda mixture So you guys were asking me, am I still tech slack? Do I still relax my hair? Yes, I still relax my hair. That is what works for me. Every three months, and I use the ORS in regular strength. I'll usually do a protein treatment every two months, or if I feel like my hair is breaking off really bad and needs some protein to really strengthen up my hair then I'll use it again but usually that's every two months and what I like to use is going to be the Afigee two-step protein treatment I really like the Afigee two-step treatment the only thing about this is that it takes so long to dry my hair when I use this stuff 
and also the smell is is really bad you guys and I also have a link for that video that I'm actually showing you guys how I use this if I have time I'll use this one if I am in a rush or I don't just don't feel like waiting or sitting underneath a dryer I'll use the Apogee Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor which is also good now it's not as good as the two-step protein treatment it's good too you guys but like I said it's not as good as that hard protein treatment but this works it works good too heat passes are anytime you use heat to straighten your hair blow dry your hair anytime you use heat on your hair now I'll usually heat pass my hair two times a month or more it just depends if I feel my hair is like really weak or I use too much heat on it then I won't do it but usually that's twice a month because my hair is pretty healthy now it's been healthy for quite a minute so I'll do that I used to do it every once a month but I do it two times a month and I'm good because I do like other styles on my hair I do like to curl my hair I do like to blow dry my hair I do like to flat iron my hair so you know I do like a lot of different styles now I use a heat protector every time that I use heat on my hair like I just told you guys and what I have been using two products that have never changed since I've been on my hair journey and that's the Tresemme Thermal Creations I swear by this stuff it's super affordable I think it's only like two or three dollars you guys at Walmart I love the stuff and the reason why I like this so much is that it is very light on your hair it feels like you have nothing on your hair so it doesn't wear weigh your hair down so that's why I love this one so the next product that I use is the Fantasia IC and this is their hair polisher. It's nice, it's lightweight, I love it. Usually I'll use these together. So I'll spray my hair first with this one, then I'll use a blow dryer to make sure that my hair is good and dry because this is a wet leave-in. After I get it dry, I'll use this and I'm about to use heat on my hair. I usually do braid outs, twist outs, buns, updos, any style like that. Those are usually like my go-to styles. So when I do do any of those styles, I like to use a styler. So I do like the Miss Jessie's Quick Curls. The Miss Jessie's Curly Meringue is also a great one. Multicultural curls, you guys. So these three are great stylers that I have been loving when I do my braid outs, twist outs, flexi rod sets, perm sets. So any styles like that, I make sure that I use these. My hair protectors are gonna be, I sleep with my Bon Bon Chabot satin bonnet, which I love you guys. It doesn't fall off my head and I can wear it all night long. And I also have an adjustable one so I can adjust this to the size of my head and I don't have to worry about it slipping off in the middle of the night. If you guys are wild sleepers, I would suggest a drawstring bonnet from Bon Bon Chabot Boutique. Or when I'm not sleeping with that, I will sleep with my Bon Bon Chabot. And this is their big satin scarf, which is huge, you guys. So you can really just wrap all of your hair and your hair will never touch the pillow. But yeah. I do use a edge control. Now, I love this one. I, I swear by it, you guys. And this is the Silk Element Strength in Silk. I love it. It smells great and it gives me a great hold on my hair. Also, I always use a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair and just comb my hair, period, because I don't need the teeth 
too tight because when they're too tight they will tend to snag and snap on your hair so I would always suggest if you have curly hair like me to use a wide tooth comb almost never use like a rat tail comb or anything like that always use a wide tooth comb to comb out your hair and detangle also I use a boar bristle brush and I usually use this one for my edges when I'm just trying to um, get my edges real slick Boar bristle brushes are great for your edges and they are not harsh on your edges as well you want something soft so boar bristles are the way to go for a softer brush but it will still get the job done I also use Denman brushes I use the nine row brush with Denman you can take out the rolls for it I also use the Denman brush and this one is for afro hair I swear I love this one I love this one more than I love this one this has been my go-to brush it brushes my hair so well and I don't have to worry about taking any teeth out of it because you guys it is sectioned off really wide unlike this one that has more teeth in it this one is sectioned off really wide there's a lot of space in there it's kind of like a wide tooth brush you like Demon brushes this is my suggestion that you get this one the one for afro hair if you have curly hair I swear you guys you will love this brush it is amazing I also use the Bon Bon Chavot t-shirt towel every time I want to dry my hair I love and I also swear by these you guys as you can tell they are really big so I have so much room in there for my hair. It's really hard to find a hair towel that is actually big enough for afro hair and long hair at the same time. But this one works great for my hair, you guys. I love it. And I know a lot of you guys ask me, do I take any hair growth pills? No, I don't take any hair growth pills. All I take is a multivitamin for women that's in gummy form that's the only vitamins that I take and I think I have went over everything with you guys let me go down the list one more time just to run through it now I'm not going to show you guys the products I'm just telling you guys what I do really quickly I shampoo my hair every week and a half and I use a sulfate free shampoo deep condition every time I wash my hair every week and a half I'll deep condition I use a leave-in conditioner every time I deep condition my hair I oil my scalp after every wash and during the week I'll do it one more time or if I feel that my scalp is really dry I moisturize my hair when I feel like my hair needs it and that's usually two times a week every time I use my moisturizer I will follow up with my hair sealer which can be an oil or a oil based product a hair mask now I usually do that every two to three times a month I just pick out the one that I need that particular time and I use it I clarify my hair once a month that's every four weeks relaxers slash tech slacks every three months protein treatments I will do that every two months heat passes are two times a month or if I feel like my hair is healthy enough I'll do another heat pass it just depends on how I feel that month always protect your hair before using heat on your hair hairstyles usually during the week are going to be braid outs twist outs updos buns flexi rods perm rods basically anything that doesn't take heat that's what i'm going to do my hairstyle just like today is just a bun and then my hair is just out always sleep on something satin I sleep with a bonnet or a scarf on my hair make sure that it's satin you do not want to put uh, cotton on your hair because that's going to dry it out and like I said before when your hair is dry it snaps and I think I went over it all with you guys like I said I wrote my entire hair regimen so thank you guys so much for watching I hope this answered a lot of you guys questions don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you in the next video peace